Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video we're going to be up against Hero Terminator, Big Elders, and Lanati, and I'm going to be with uh, Eliazar Garzon Resis and the Hero Challenger. Now of course before we start, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel, and without further ado, let's go jump straight into it. Okay now, so here we go. I'm going to be the green player, um, Eliazar being the yellow player, and the uh, hero challenger being the red player. So, let's go. Okay. Fast forward by a bit here. I did build that sniper tower to zone out any scouts. And uh, let's see how our partners are doing. Two super containers appearing right in the middle of the map. Okay. Wolverine from Hero Challenger. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, HQ level 3 here from this guy right here. Ooh. And uh, level 2 research facility, 2 supply centers. And that server is just casually walking around the base. And the uh, super container appearing right here. But all the confederations did not really opt out for that super container. Okay, so I'm going to have to add supply centers here on my end. And uh, I am initially, uh, initially, oh, what the? That Cerberus just casually destroyed the supply center and destroyed a porcupine. Yeah, but I mean, it, it needs more bomb, obviously. Okay. And uh, we see Wolverine around here dealing some damage. Okay, so 10,000 years later. <laughs> okay. Alright, well that was cool, I guess. <laughs> okay, Wolverine doing its job right there. Okay, so hidden infantry, uh, the bushes. Oh, and uh, stuff like that. Okay. Now, um, okay, so going back here to my base, I was initially planning on spamming um, Mammoth, Jaguar, Chameleon, Porcupine, and a little bit of Dragonfly here in my end. However, uh, my partner Hero Challenger wanted some Hawk or AVS support, and so I'm going to go ahead and give them that. Okay, Serafima appearing right here. Okay, Anti-Ear being built, and all of a sudden his forces are now going to head straight back to his base. Okay, and uh, yeah, okay, anti-air has been destroyed, and uh, let's see, how much damage can this Seraphim does, you know, can this Seraphim do? Going HQ level 4 as a hero challenger, and my partner here also HQ level 4 now, and that Seraphim is still alive, still trying to do some damage here. Mole turrets, well obviously it's not going to be effective, as of course the uh, mole turrets doesn't have enough range to destroy that Seraphim or attack it. Two more, oh, another Seraphim from the Sea Hand player appearing right in the middle here. And uh, just trying to cause some damage here. Okay, now, and on to... <laughs> that Seraphim just casually launched at the entire base of the yellow and the uh, red player's base. And, uh, yeah, and then was not destroyed. Yeah, basically provided a free scout and some damage. Okay. So, Cyan player's uh, Seraphim is here. Again, um, Wolverine attacking the uh, barracks, which will take forever. And again, another Seraphim from Lanadi or the purple player uh, attacking that uh, research facility. That's actually great. And uh, my partner, um, Hero Challenger, is now looking for a hawk. And so I'm going to have to go do that then. Okay. Okay, I'll produce aviation. Okay, and another Seraphim! Okay, from the blue player. So yeah, the Seraphims are just casually flying around the base. And, ooh, look! It's damaged. It's been being fired upon by so many porcupines, but still managed to retreat. Wow, I mean, it's so balanced. Okay, Seraphim again. Okay, this time around, but did not manage to destroy a supply center. It needs more bob. Oh, and maybe it will. Oh, uh, no, it won't destroy that 
supply center. So it needs that that seraphim needs more pop. Okay, so again, Ivia Factory here in my end. Um this is for well obviously Hawks, additional power plant, and I'm just preparing some stuff here in my end, like the hero Leviathan. Okay, so as to not leave my base defense list against any ground attack. Okay, super container appearing right here. And uh, also another super container here in my end. Let's see uh, Eleazar trying to somewhat fish out the uh, middle portion of the map. Ooh, so Lotus already appeared. And uh, oh no, it is still. Oh no, it's just a research facility level 3. Thanks to the three Seraphims that harassed a, a hero challenger, his Leviathan will be delayed by a huge chunk. Okay, Scout here on my end, revealing what this guy have. Look at the damage of that. Solid hit. Okay, Wolverine trying to cover them out. Okay, uh, the uh, mole. Okay, and uh, yeah, I mean, you're gonna get owned. Wasp here. Oh no. Yeah. Very big problem here. And Solaris again from the CN player. Okay. And uh, meanwhile, I'm still preparing for that, you know, army composition here, my end. Leviathan here from uh, Eliazar trying to cover for a hero challenger due to the lack of Leviathan on his end. Meanwhile, his whole army here is going to have to retreat as that Solaris and stuff are actually causing some major concerns. Hawk here on my end. Okay, trying to attack the uh, Solaris that are outside the range of those Typhoons. Okay. And so, Serapima. Okay. I'm gonna have to try and do my best here to cover my partner. Okay, again, Leviathan here from uh, Eliazar returned to his base. Okay, hero challenger, a little bit of a challenge right there. Okay, the, the uh, Leviathan is being zoned out by those typhoons, and purple player joining the CN player in the middle of the map here. So Eliazar is actually taking on two players at the same time. Okay. Other chameleons are going to run out of energy. And I'm going to have to head over here in the hopes of assisting my partner and not break through this uh, location. Okay, let's see how um, Hero Challenger is doing. He's actually doing great with the majority of his army. Leviathan is already out on his end. Okay, now here we go. Oh my good lord, what is that? That's a huge chunk of army from the blue CN and the purple player. Here goes the nuke. Boo. Not really that much damage. Disgusting damage around here. Hawk trying to pitch in. Wasp uh, acid strike. Beholder scan. And the wasp will be destroyed. Hero challenger coming from the back side and uh, flanking them or attacking them at the back. Backstabbing them. Three Solaris here and let's see how this goes. Boom! Boom! Three nuclears and those uh, army are still alive. I don't understand. So balanced. Well, anyway, they're still in a very bad formation as um, me and Eliazar, as well as the Hero Challenger, are squeezing in on the CN player's army. It's like being sandwiched. Meanwhile, this guy right here retreated so far as he could not really support uh, his partner. Hero Challenger lost his uh, Leviathan. But I guess that's gonna be fine as he massacred all the army here from the blue and the CN player. And now our Leviathans are now going to somewhat attack the CN player's army right here. Not much they can do about it since they're gonna be outnumbered. Hawks here in my end. Okay. Okay now. I'm trying to target that uh Solaris. And uh, also Hawks from Hero Challenger as well. A blue player came back here to attack the uh, Hero Challenger. And so I'm gonna have to, well, eliminate this guy out of the game by keeping him in his base since he doesn't have aviation. So keeping his units in check inside the base will effectively make this a 3v2 situation. 
Okay, nuclear right here. Kablooey! Okay, huge chunk of damage right there. Heading towards Ilyar Gazol, uh, Ilyazar. Trying to attack that. Oh wow, that servers <laughs> barely managed to miss. Okay, so we got like two things going on at the same time here. Eliazar and Hero Challenger attacking the blue player and the CN player. However, Hero Challenger's army is not really in good uh, peak condition. Okay, that's a very good way to repair your army. Meanwhile, here in my end, I'm just casually destroying this guy right here. Since the majority of his army has been destroyed as it fell back. Or as it retreated earlier. So I'm gonna have to take advantage of this mayhem and attack that Solaris. That are not really defended by a good chunk of typhoons, only by the shield. Okay. Ooh, we got Hero Challenger here with four chameleons. And um oh, yeah, I mean obviously, um the blue guy right here will retreat as he is not in good formation. He's gonna oh wow. Okay, Elizar will be sandwiched from both the blue and the sea and ooh, disgusting damage. And now we'll get flanked by Hero Challenger. Oh man. This is going to be ultra hard, man. Okay, his army will be sandwiched, so he's going to have to retreat. Okay, going back to Hero Challenger and uh, Hero Terminator, the blue guy. They're actually doing great here. So, yep, he's trying to get this super container. Oh, that was very close. Okay, Leviathan around here. Meanwhile, on my end, casually destroying this guy, keeping him in check. Well, I am able to, uh, you know, like, support with the Hawk. So, yeah. There you go. Going back here. Okay. So, my Hawks are just swimming, swinging back and forth between the, the CN, the Blue, and so on. Here goes. Purple, uh, Hero Challenger's Hawks. Okay, that's not a really good acid strike. Heroes are badly bruised up, especially the Wasp and the Mole. Um, Elizar Gerzon attacking the CN player, who's trying to somewhat attack and take over the position. But that's just not enough units at this point. Meanwhile, um, Hero Challenger doing great here with the attack on the Hero Terminator's base. So we're all keeping them inside their bases, and just look at this. Yeah, at this point I'm just producing Hawks. Yeah, Mammoth useless. Okay, here we go. Eliazar decided to attack the blue player along with Hero Challenger. And, oh, active skill was not really accurate here. His nuclear has been dropped. And here we go. I'm going to, we're going to have to attack the CN and the red or the blue player. And so I am just, uh, you know, recovering the HP of my Leviathan. And then here goes my Hawk, just undocking. Okay, two things happening at the same time here. Okay, shield not activated. Bam. Okay. Then on to the next Solaris. Beholder activating its skill. Solid nuclear hit right there. Yeah, I mean that Solaris felt no damage against what? Six Hawks. Okay, I'm going to have to retreat here for a moment. Okay, there you go. Targeting the shield. Yeah, I mean, this guy is basically useless at this point. Okay, shield is almost down. Shield's been destroyed. Blue player's uh, Solaris will be targeted by my Hawks once again for overextending. Okay, that Solaris will be destroyed once again. Oh, solid! That's a very solid scan. Oh man, that's bad. And so Hero Challenger will be attacking the the blue guy once again. And Eliazar will go in retreat. Meanwhile, here on my end. Pew! Pew pew pew! Okay, so this guy made the last stand to of course push me back. However, that's not really gonna happen. Dude, you only got like four Zeus and it got like what? Eight mammoths, five jaggers, dude. Four porcupines. Okay, here we go. Alright, that's a huge uh, cover there. Bam! 
solid hit. Okay, that's a very solid hit right there. Hawks from uh, Hero Challenger. Hawks from my end as well. And I'm just laying siege over to this guy's base who can't do nothing. Okay. I'm going to have to attack the hero facility. And uh, at this point, Elizar has more freedom in terms of laying waste over to this guy's base. Same thing for Hero Challenger. So yeah, I think that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to be notified of any upcoming content from my channel. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye!